Well, in our shipwreck room, this depicts the great gale of 1898. This one gale in 1898 was one of the worst northeasters they've ever had along the coast here. 400 ships were lost in this one gale of wind, November 1898. 400 ships went down and an untold number of men's lives lost. Just an amazing storm. These vessels were cast up all along the beaches of New England shore, lost at sea. My gosh, the, the, old, the old steamer Portland was just leaving Boston at the time of the scale. Well, the weather forecasts weren't so good back in those days. She's a big vessel. They figured she could make it. She had a lot of power in her. Well, she couldn't. She got out into the middle of that gale of wind. She was overwhelmed by the sea. Stove in the, the doors, stove in the windows, sunk her right there. All per persons lost. They had no idea how many people, but over 200 were lost in that gale of wind. They didn't know where she went down exactly, but her bones were found scattered over 95 miles of Cape Cod shores. The vessel was found about six years ago, found by side scan sonar, bolt upright on Stillwagon Bank, right out off of Cape Cod there, uh, just in the, in the preserve zone right there, Stillwagon Bank. And her funnels and her walking beam were still in place. She's sitting bolt upright on the seafloor. That was the conclusion of the poor old steamer Portland. They called that the Portland Breeze, one of the worst gales New England has ever seen. Here's a model of the Titanic's lifeboat. Of course, the Titanic went down many years, the White Star Line, many years ago. So many people were lost, and it is a famous shipwreck. Here's one of the lifeboats. Those survivors were able to come ashore in that kind of a boat and be saved. Above it, we have shipwrecks around uh, Cape Hatteras, one of the worst places for shipwrecks on the coast of the United States. You can see hundreds of vessels went ashore there, behind the wheel there, the wheel of the rising sun, a limer that was lost right here in Thomaston.